We live in modern times. Gone are the days of older people holding all of the power and wealth. Young people are becoming more and more dominant in the tech and financial sectors. Another area being dominated by young people is global crime, especially drug trafficking. One of these young crime lords is Yoss Ledeckers, best known as Bali Yoss. Since his start at a young age, Bali Yoss has risen to be one of Europe's most wanted criminals, with a 200,000 euro bounty offered for information leading to his capture. He is accused of being one of the key figures in the world of international drug smuggling and money laundering. All reports indicate that he is ruthless and does not shy away from violence. Police believe that he is the mastermind behind the disappearance of the Dutch godmother of cocaine, Nema Jalal, who was kidnapped in October 2019 and has never been seen again. That's one way to get rid of your competition. It has also been reported that Balios, or people connected with him, are behind threats made on the life of Dutch Minister of Justice and Safety. The minister is now heavily guarded due to fears that he may become another victim of Yos and his crew. Yos Leideckers also goes by the nickname El Presidente, a name quite befitting the man who's been quietly building an empire and is now being crowned as the new king of the Dutch cocaine business. Bali Yos doesn't seem like a very respectful alias when you found out it translates to Fat Yos, but he got the nickname because of his weight and build. As previously mentioned, his other alias is El Presidente, and unsurprisingly, this is a nickname he gave himself. Bali Yos managed to stay off of the police's radar for a large part of his criminal career. The longer Yos remains a wanted man, the more information comes to light about him, those around him, and their connections to the criminal underworld. Bali Yos was born in Breda in the Netherlands on July 1, 1991, which, if he's still alive, would make him 32 years old. Very little is known about his early life and upbringing and what made him enter the world of crime. There are rumors that his father was a kingpin around the ports of Antwerp and Rotterdam, but, as with most rumors, this has never been confirmed. Stories of Balios and his exploits have circled around the underworld for a handful of years, with many people being warned to not joke around with him. He is a serious man, and there could be serious consequences. It has been said that Yos gave the order to kidnap the Dutch godmother of cocaine, Naima Jalal. She was kidnapped in October 2019 after she was seen getting into a car near her luxury apartment in Amsterdam. Balios believed she was to blame for a busted shipment of cocaine in the port of Antwerp. Yos has a serious financial investment in this shipment and suspected foul play. Naima Jalal thought she could convince Yos that the bust was nothing to do with her but El Presidente obviously wasn't ready to let this double cross slide. After that day in October 2019, nobody has heard of her or seen her ever again. Some of her personal effects have been found at the same port dock where the cocaine bust had taken place. I think someone is sending a serious message. Don't mess with Balios. Want to hear a twisted side note to the kidnapping? Pictures supposedly featuring the dead body of Chilal have been found on Ridwan Tagi's phone. Apparently, those pictures have been shared within the criminal underworld. Ridwan Tagi was the leader of the infamous Mokoro Mafia. It seems that Bolios believes that kidnapping a rival or a member of law enforcement who might be a threat is the best way to solve his problems, as well as making threats to Dutch ministers that have caused round-the-clock guards to be employed Bolios' companion Floor Bressers has been named in Belgium in a plot to kidnap the Belgian Minister of Justice and Safety. This Belgian minister is now also heavily guarded 24-7 after an attempt to kidnap him near his home failed in September 2022. This failed attempt led to four Dutch suspects being arrested. Something makes me think that being on the wrong side of Bolios and his associates could be a serious health hazard. Balios' lawyer has commented in reports of the kidnappings by saying this is really far-fetched and one big fantasy. Belgian native Floor Brezers is another interesting underworld figure. He's known in the underworld as the Finger Cutter. I'll give you one guess as to how he got this nickname. Floor is a little bit older than Yos, but just as eager, smart, and violent. Brezers has been a major cocaine importer for some time, and is every bit the Belgian equivalent of Bali Joes. Here's a crazy little twist to the story of Floor Bressers. 
In his younger years, he studied criminology, only to become a crime boss himself. The one big difference between the two is that Bressers recently got caught in Switzerland. Another notable crime Bolios is tied to is the murder of the 55-year-old Belgian Stefan Bogart. Bogart was the owner of a container company that had serious financial problems. Authorities have connected the dots and think that he became involved with a drug trade to get rid of his financial difficulties. Somewhere along the way, something went wrong and he ended up paying with his life. To this day, Bolios remains a free man, albeit a free man who is on the run with a sizable bounty on his head. Even though authorities have significantly ramped up their efforts in order to find him, they still have no clue about his whereabouts. They have released a number of additional pictures of him which aren't great quality. The reward for information that leads to his capture has gone up and up, but without result. It seems that fear of Bolios still plays a big part in keeping lips sealed. There has been much speculation about which country he is hiding in. The only place that can be confirmed he hid in is Dubai. Dubai has been a long-time safe haven for criminals from all over the world. Criminals had been able to live in Dubai and spend their millions on luxurious things without having any fear of the authorities. That has changed recently, with Dubai finally partnering with foreign law enforcement to apprehend some of the world's biggest criminals. Some of the big names that have been caught there recently are Ridwan Taghi, Rafael Imperial, and Edin G, as well as over 400 big-time criminals from around the globe. There seems to currently be no sign of Balios in Dubai, which leads authorities to believe that Balios has moved out of Dubai. For a number of reasons, Dutch authorities think that he is currently hiding in Turkey. Turkey is quickly becoming a major hub for the biggest criminals in the world. It is believed that Yoz took advantage of Turkey's Golden Passport Program, which allows a passport and citizenship to be obtained for $400,000. Once citizenship has been obtained, he cannot be sent abroad for trial. The Golden Passport program was initially launched to attract the best and the brightest, but now it seems it is a get-out-of-jail-free card for criminals like Bolios. But besides Turkey, there have been several other countries mentioned as well. Where do you think Bolios is hiding? Could he still be in Europe or the Middle East? Or might he have made it as far as South America? Police have refocused their efforts and started targeting members of Yos's underworld crew as well as members of his family. Authorities have seized large sums of cash, jewelry, designer goods, false passports, USB sticks, computers, cameras, and phones. They have even arrested Yos's mother and sister, and still they have been unable to catch him. Bali Yos remains an enigma. There is barely any information or pictures about him in the public domain. He rose to prominence under the police's radar. He has been implicated in a number of high-profile kidnappings, attempted kidnappings, and suspected killings, and now he has disappeared. How can this one young man from the Netherlands have gained so much power so quickly and then just vanish? Something makes me think there is a lot more to the Bolio story we have yet to find out.